Hello YouTube and welcome to another Notepad++ tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can run a parallel script with Notepad++. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing you have to make sure of when you want to execute a parallel script with Notepad++ is of course that you have already installed Perl in your system. So me, I already installed the uh, active Perl for Windows. So Perl is installed in my system. And by default, it's installed in this directory here, as you can see, c slash Perl 64 slash bin. So this is my exec file. So in order to execute a script with Notepad++, it's really easy. All you have to do is to run first of all your Notepad++. Then you have to install a plugin called Notepad++ Exec. So you go to your plugins and plugin manager and show plugin manager. Okay. Then you search for a plugin called Notepad++ Exec. So you'll find it here as you can see now. So you have to check the, this uh, checkbox. So I have to install it. Yes. So here I have to update actually my plugin manager. So you can always say yes. Then you have also to restart your uh, Notepad++. Okay. So my plugin manager has been updated. Now I have to look for the Notepad++ exec. So here it is, I have to check this box here and to install it. So now my Notepad++ exec plugin is being installed, actually it's being downloaded, then it will be installed will take some time but that's not that much of course we have to restart uh, notepad++ so now that my plugin is installed you will notice here another menu called notepad++ so you choose that menu and then you choose execute and inside this box here you will have just to paste this code here it's really easy actually here I'm changing to my current directory and here I'm executing my file but you have to, to pay attention to the location where your Perl exec is installed in your system so as you can see here on my system it's under a directory called Perl64 because I'm using Windows 64 version so here I have to add 64 okay so now you save as so for example I will call it run better and I will save the script here the script you will find it in your description actually so I will say okay now I have to return back to my plugins menu Notepad++ exec and this time I have to choose advanced options okay so I will just check this box here place to the macro menu in order to run it from the macro menu here I can this item I can name it run for example better and here I will associate the script that I have already created, which is run parallel. Then you have actually to click this button here, add and modify. So you will notice that my run parallel actually has been added to the menu macros. Okay, so I will have to restart my notepad plus plus. Et voilà, as you can see, run Perl has been added to the menu macro. I can associate a shortcut, so it's really easy to do. All I have to do is to go to my shortcut mapper 
then go to the plugin command and here I will search for the run Perl script. So here it is and here I can associate for example any shortcut I want for example control shift then the letter for example letter P for example I will hit OK so this is my shortcut in order to run the per script now let's test if it's really working so here you can see I have a little script here with per just easy it just displays the hello world followed by the, by the, uh, the date so in order to execute that script, all I have to do is to go to the run menu or actually the macro menu and hit my run pattern. As you can see here in this console box, the output has been displayed. So my script is actually running perfectly with notepad++. So that was just a short introduction how to execute a per script with Notepad++. As always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.